good morning my dear students today again i came in front of you to discuss with the another topic of genetics that is chromosomes chromosome a greek derived word that means chroma color zoma means body colored body in the sense which stains deeply in the cell or in the nucleus so in this topic we have to discuss about the definition types then different condition in the chromosome number karyotype ideogram chromosome structure and then joint chromosomes like salivary gland chromosome and lamp brush chromosomes okay can you define the chromosome now so what are chromosomes that is the definition chromosomes are the nuclear components which are formed in the form of network or meshwork during interphase and found in the form of a clear rod like bodies during other stages of cell division they carry means they contain the hereditary material that is dna and carry the hereditary characters and genetic information this is the definition which we are going to ask for two marks define chromosomes or what are chromosomes i will repeat the definition chromosomes are the nuclear components found in the form of meshwork or network during interphase you know the meaning of interphase that is the stage between two successive cell divisions that is called interphase means after one mitosis before going to the second mitosis of those cells the stage is referred as interphase at that time the chromosomes are in the form of meshwork or network and during other stages of cell division other stages of cell division in the sense prophase metaphase anaphase telophase like that during other stages of cell division these are found in the form of clear rod like bodies and they are having or they are containing the dna and carrying the genetic information and also the hereditary characters this is called a chromosome so this chromosome this idea was formulated by sutton in the year 1903 in the form of chromosomal theory so in all the living organisms they contain in each and every cell chromosomes are there in human body also each and every cell as you know there are two different types of cells somatic cells and the gametic cells so somatic cells on that basis there are two types of chromosomes autosomes and allosomes autosomes are the chromosomes which are not at all 
related or which are not at all responsible for the determination of sex of an individual. They are called autosomes or sex, sorry, or vegetative chromosomes or somatic chromosomes. Allosomes, which are also referred as sex chromosomes or heterochromosomes or gonosomes. They are mainly responsible for the determination of sex of an individual. As you know, in human beings there are 46 chromosomes in which 22 pairs are autosomes and one pair is sex chromosome represented as X and Y. 22 plus XX for female, 22 plus XY for males. So then, chromosome number. Next is chromosome number. So usually, chromosome number is constant, is the same in somatic cells of the individual and for all the individuals of the same species. As we know, it is constant or same for the somatic cells and for all the individuals of the same species. The somatic cells contain usually two sets of chromosomes. This is called diploid number and the condition or the state is referred as diploidy and the condition or the statement is referred as diploidy. Means two sets of chromosomes represented as 2n. 2n number of chromosomes. 